extravagant living every day. Someone may ask, what is the source of their money? I give and take his things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pop it, y'all. Pop it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Wait, what's this? What is this? <laughs> My chef's birthday, I mean, my cook, yeah. her birthday is coming up in two weeks. Mm -hmm. What would you think if I should gift her with this? I mean, just for my chef. Would that be too cold? Oh my goodness. I mean, this cold here can only go for the downtown house. Woo! Mm -hmm. Wait, wait a minute. Are you by any chance trying to call this the oh. crowd? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that place, place. Yes. That is a setting up place. Hey, hey, hey! You girls are so shameless. One of these go to slot. That is what you are. Huh? Sorry, sorry. So it's okay. Hey, I'm so talking to you. Someone I just spoke <laughs> to you, you right now. To okay, yes, um, bitches. First of all, I'm going to ignore some frivolities because I do not have time for jobless people. But even at that, I would really appreciate you to use your watery brain to also learn how to mind your damn business. Is it that hard? Natasha, you are not just useless and stupid, but you are sick and jealous. Yeah. Me? Jealous? <laughs> Sorry. Jealous of what? This toy? This thing? Set it up, please, girl. And Tell look me. who is talking. Oh. You're you, such a uh, you, slow you, you, you try to fly among aliens. Why don't you just go and clean your cheap hell? Yes, so go back first. Try chop or more before you find beef swine. Oh, uh, rubbish. Cadet. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, what are wearing? <laughs> so, how about me? How dare you call me names? That's that. You maggot. You know, when just, you just, just look at you. Looking so dirty and irritating. You yeah. stink! <laughs> no, so, just look at that. You know, I, 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 have a, I have a problem with, you know, people that are so dirty and stinking, calling someone maggot. I mean, the stage from there, girls, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can entertain your juvenile irritating drama, but I will take no more of your courses, okay? You swine. Can you I... are a dried, crunked archer <laughs> to help with you. Take this one! Now, what is the meaning of all this? Um, um, no, no. But, sir, Shut it, up! It was them that. Shut up! I think I recognize you. You, you, and you. You're the same reckless and mannerless girls that are causing pandemonium in this institution. No, wait. Oh. Shut up. I can see that you girls are becoming unbearable in this institution. And you must face the penalty and the consequences of your actions. What, sir? What? Shut up! Now you must see me in my office. And for those other miscreants, tell them to come and see me as well. No, sir, we are innocent, sir. I have told you. Boss, can I say something? You can't say anything. Come to my office. Just... Come, come. I'm on the camera. It's not going to solve it right now. Let's just calm no, down. No, no. Let's calm down and know what to do later, okay? Right now we can go to his office. Let's just calm down. We're not but, 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 but we are innocent. We are innocent of... Okay. I am not ready for any exposure. Oh, I am not ready. Those ah. girls should be taking their stars. Hmm? And I mean, good mood. They should also thank their stars that they actually intervened. If not, they foresee the real color of Washington. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? I am not ready for any exposure. No. Don't be HOD when they talk about HOD. Ha! Listen to me, girls. HOD. Now, my boy. 
I trust you. Do you understand? Babe, Babe, just way. a little attention Babe, here and there. <laughs> and everything will be lifted up. Babe, Babe, oh, I know what you can people. do. Hello, sisters. Hello. <laughs> sisters. Mama. What? What's it? Okay. Greetings. Eh? I saw what happened between you girls and the other girls. I want you to know that such life of violence alcoholism and indecency can only harm and help our chances in our academic pursuits here. It can even lead to expulsion. Yes! And you know it's not good. Considering how our parents, our poor parents work so hard to get us here. We need to make them proud. Yes, we do. We need to live the life to magnify the name of God who made us in his own image. Sisters, please repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. I beg you, repent. Repent. I say, Fem! Shut up! You didn't mad? Eh? So we be seen as a bee? Why you not sent? Eh? Mary? Mwa Jesus? Now by force to convert us? Now by force? Who said listen to your preaching? Must we? Say we see Wahala. So you want open church for our head? Eh? I didn't mean it like that. Like Will you it. shut your trap before I land a hot slap on your face right now? Listen, I actually gave you the opportunity to, to tell me why you stopped us. Only for you to vomit this nonsense. Now listen to me. Thank your stars that I'm just coming out from H O this hot seat. Which I do not want to go back to. If not, I would have treated this your nonsense attitude right now. Are you not? Are you crazy? What have you lost a sense of timing? How many times have I told you to stay away from me and my girls? How many times? Go to your community. Go to your community. Just go to the market. Preach for people. You can start doing as a madman and be preaching. Stop disturbing me and my girls. I don't want to worry you. Will you come back us? Will you come back to us? I swear to God. Get down before I break you. We have no business to die.
my God. I am greatly marveled at your condition. Who would ever believe that you, of all people, will end up an Akarasela? Ha! You that used to be the role model during our school days. You even made the best results in our year. Hmm? You used to be the envy of all girls in academic excellence and physical beauty. Now look at you. What happened to you? What happened to your dreams and aspiration towards life and education? Here. They are still here and they will remain here forever. Like I said, Gloria, my story is a long one and a sad one at that. But I'll tell you. I hope you made us proud. Mama, see for yourself. Oh, but to all. Hey, hey. Oh, give me, give me, give me. Eh? Eh? Very, very long one. Oh, my. Very, very long one. I don't do Hey! I know you will do it. You have done it again as usual. Yes, Mama. Hey, hey! Mwa bo mwa! Mwa ba hug me, hug me! Thank you. Woman, why are you screaming everywhere? Mama, you come and say for Papa yourself. Adam, you are back on the Your daughter has made it again. She made all her subjects with <laughs> credits. Oh, <laughs> You are a unique talent, my daughter. A blessing to this family. Yes, so. <laughs> I thank you so much for making us proud in your work exams. Always. But for this awesome landmark you just made, I promise to slaughter a goat for you. Ah! To celebrate it. One full goat. One complete goat. Hey! 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 I want to wait. It's not. I want to I want to wait. It's not. I want to wait. Oh, yeah. I beg you. I heard of it. Your mother told me everything before she died. She used to entertain me with your failure in the school. It's you who come now. I heard you got your, your, your standard system examination uh, uh, subjects. Fair nine. <laughs> now you are comparing your dull brain with that of my daughter who is a genius. Look at who is talking. Okay, okay. I went to school and fell. On your job, what they carry? That going to school is like trekking from a kutu to Tonku Obwe. You still come for me? You see, uh, it is only a child that watches the hawk snatch a chick from the hand and wonders if the hawk is not only trying to shield the chick from cold. You see, uh, ordinarily, the items we have presented before you is enough to suggest to you a mission to your house. But as tradition demands, we have to present our intentions to you formally. My son here, Mm. has found a very ripe and succulent fruit in your vineyard and he intends to pluck it. But there is no way we can do that without your approval. That is why we have come to see you. And the way. And, um, <laughs> you are aware of words never cease to amaze me. <sighs> that is how we were friends. You know we've been friends for many years now and I know almost everybody in your house. Even these are some silas. 
I know him when he was a toddler. <laughs> Marriage is meant for two parties, and each party must be carried along. My daughter is not around. I will talk to her. She is the person whose decision determines the outcome of your visit. Okay, sir, no problem. Okay. Um, again, I know you as a responsible young man. I wouldn't fail to remind you that marriage is a difficult task that requires extra maturity and careful examination before tampering into. Mm. If I may ask you, are you sure it is my daughter, Veronica, that your mind yearns for? <laughs> Certainly, sir. I am absolutely sure. Huh? I'll go in there. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you see, I truly love your beautiful daughter, Veronica. I developed this sincere interest in her even when we were still members of CYO. Okay. But I waited patiently for her to grow into this matured woman, ripe enough for marital union. So with your blessings and permission, I would love to make you her my blessed. wife. You are blessed already. You don't have any problem. Like as I told you before, she is not around. I'll talk to her and relate my message through your dad to you. Oh? Yes, sir. Um, my daughter, in a nutshell, Silas came here today asking for your hands in marriage. I am not interested. Why? You don't like him? Silas is a hard-working and a prosperous young man from a God-fearing background. What else do you need in a man? Papa, it's not like I don't like him. Everybody knows that Silas is a good man. But I want to finish school before getting married. So, how do you intend to further your education? Because you and I know we cannot afford to train you in the university. Yes. I know that you people cannot sponsor my university education. So, I've decided to take up a small scale business. Or better still, get employed, save my salary, and train myself in the university. Very simple. Oh, God, is I'm not. <laughs> eh? You think it is that easy? Okay? Let me tell you. The world is not a bed of roses. Those who they dream end up in illusion, not reality. Mama, marriage is the illusion here. Education is the reality. Mm. <laughs> Veronica, I was once a young girl like you. Make good use of this opportunity. Men are scarce. Did the Koko? It is an advice. Silas is a good man. Very, very good. Um, my daughter, we love you so much and we want the best for you. How I wish you go to university and become a graduate. But as you can see, my daughter, we are financially incapacitated. We cannot train you in the university. But I know that if you marry Silas, Silas can train you to the highest level. You're too Try and convince him on your dreams of furthering your education. I know he can train you. Try and reason with us, please. Listen, Papa. There is nothing to reason here. There is nothing to reason with, please. I've made my point, and it's clear. Excuse me, please. Veronica. Veronica! Mama, 
good afternoon. Where are you coming from? Okay, I'm coming from Okoso's shop where I'm learning how to weave hair. Okoso's shop? Yes, Mama. Eh. Hey. Is it boy Okoso? Yes. Good. Baba Okoso. Ha. Veronica. Baba Okoso. Mama, you didn't hear me very well. Do you know Okoso? I went to learn how to weave hair. Okoso is always Okoso. Yes. Okoso is always Okoso. Baba Okoso. Veronica. No, Okoso no. Is it not Okoso's house? No, Baba Okoso no. You're not ashamed of yourself. Uh, Mama, what did I do again? You are not really ashamed of yourself. A chunk of meat that is in your mouth you threw away. Um, I'm beginning to look for pan, just ordinary pan canel. In our chake, not pan pake. You fell out there, Maggie. You refuse to be reasonable. You throw away the good advice of your father and I. You are now deaf and dumb over our words. You throw away the advice of your father and I to marry Silas. And now you are gallivanting around the village in the name of looking for, for uh, 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 weaving. Weaving of hen. You know, from village to village, from uh, place to place, from house to house, looking for weaving. Chai, if you again, me boom. Let me see how weaving we train you in the university. Okay, good No problem. Mama, I'll try my possible best. I'll do everything humanly possible. I will put in my best effort to gather money to train myself in the university. I refuse to be an illiterate wife, Mama. No. Miss ah. Dreamer, keep dreaming. I am off to our women meeting. Just try to clean up everywhere. Take care of the house before I come back home. Oh, I hope there is food in the house because I'm very hungry. I've not eaten since morning. Eh? Ah. Yes. You are hungry? Mm hmm No, let the breast. It's not only food. You will eat sand. Yeah? Yes, sand will be the next option for you because if you enter there with enough street food, you will come out and eat sand. You are not ashamed of yourself. Your fellows are out there in their matrimonial homes, making their children, feeding their husbands, even bringing things for their parents. You are here eating Mama Tankuma every day. You're not ashamed of yourself. In the morning, Mama Tankuma. Afternoon, Mama Tankuma. Are you not uh, 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 tired of thanking me? I am tired of receiving your thanks. Take it or I don't need it. Look at Adugo of yesterday. She has her kids in her husband's house with her children. You are here gallivanting the whole village, uh, looking for who to weave her hair. You are not ashamed. Look, you will see no peace in this household. Since you have refused to take our advice, since you have refused to marry Silas, Udam and Chekwa, be ready for war from now, because I will not give you peace. I have followed you peacefully, calmly, beg you, even lie down to, and beg you. You refuse to listen. Now be ready for my war. You will get it. Mm -hmm. What are doing is not good. Did you train me in the university and I did not bring money for this? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I did. Mm -hmm. If I get married, most I don't want to know what anybody has to say. My daughter, I know exactly how you feel. I'm very sorry for everything, 
especially the way a mother knocks at you these days. Every good mother would like to see her daughter marry a responsible man like Silas. Whatever she does to you, forgive her. It is because of the love she has for you. Oh? I, I, I don't believe that though. I don't believe that she loves me. You need to see the way she spoke to me this afternoon. Ha. Will I be forced into marriage against my wish? No. Nobody is forcing you. We're only trying to make you citizens. Marriage will not stop you from pursuing your academics. Like I, I told you before, I've spoken to Silas about your negative response towards his proposals. And he promised to train you in the university if you agree to marry him. Eh? Yes. Wait, he said that? My daughter, he made the promise. You see, everything will be okay. You don't have reason to worry. Hey, in that case, I'll have to. I'll speak with him. Oh, well, can we go inside? Okay. Right, let's go inside. Go on. How are you? Fine, thank you. I must tell you, I am very excited to finally meet with you one on one after turning down my request all this while. Thank you. Silas, listen, I don't have anything against you. Hmm? Just that I don't want anything or anybody that will come between me and my education. I don't want it. The only reason I am here talking to you is because my father assured me that you will train me in school once we get married. Yes. Look, your father is absolutely right. I made that promise and I will keep to it. Once we get married, I will see you through your university. It's a promise. Okay. Like I said before, I don't have anything against you. In fact, to be sincere, I will cut eye for you somehow. Hmm? You are my speck. Nice. can work You have most of the qualities I want in a husband. The only problem is for you to keep to your promise of training me in the university. Hmm? Because if you don't do that, I will not be happy. I will be miserable in the marriage. And you wouldn't want that to happen. Hmm? Secondly, and most importantly, I wouldn't want you to distract me when I'm going to school. I wouldn't want to start bearing children for you now until I'm done with my university education. Are you okay with that? Oh, hey, Okay, get it. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. As long as it will make you happy. Mm -mm. You have to answer me straight. With your face upright and smiling. Yes or no? Veronica, I cross my heart. Yeah. This is the mother of all promises. And I will keep to it. You are so beautiful. My lord, you are welcome. Can I go down here? Um, Hey, 
Guy for your It's your Adi Abu. Yeah. Uh okay. <laughs> I love that guy. He's always funny. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we'll go to the hospital. happy. What is the problem? This is a wonderful news for you and your family. But I don't know why you are not happy. Ah, uh, doctor, she's perfectly fine. Are you sure? She's perfectly fine. She's happy. Right, baby? <laughs> okay. You have to happy, okay? Thank you, doctor. All we right. appreciate that. Alright. Bye-bye. What am I going to do now? Hey Silas, what am I going to do now? I'm busy running around for my admission now. There is baby in the womb. Eh? Silas, why are you like this? Silas, you promised. You crossed your heart, oh. Eh? I won't go back to Namo. You promised. I said even if you're going to play ball, no problem. But then you're not goal. You score on a goal. Now you're scored. How do I cope with the baby in the womb and my education? How do I do that? Baby, baby. Baby, it's okay. Huh? No, it's not okay. It's not okay. Mama, mama, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me that. Hey, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I understand how you feel. But I want you to remember that a child is a gift from God Almighty. Baby, thousands of barren women out there yearn for this great news. However, it's all my fault. And I'm very sorry for it. You wanted to blame someone? No, but you see, it's as the mistake has already been made. And there is absolutely nothing we can do about it. I suggest you suspend your admission stuff for now and deliver this baby. Eh? Our first blessing. Well, as soon as you're done with delivery, you can resume your academic stuff. And when you're done with delivery, I promise you will give a break to childbearing to your true with your education. Mm -hmm. Adamano, you see you men, you are all the same everywhere. No, no, no. no eh? I'm going to your mouth was sweet. You're telling me, give me give him all sorts of promise. I will not disturb you. I will not distract you. I will wait. You will go to school. You will finish before that. Now, what is it? It is obvious that he did it intentionally. No, yes. No, 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 and we must accept it the way it is. Please, my love. Please. For the sake of what we share together. You know I love you. Look, I promise you, you will be comfortable delivering this baby. Anything you want, I'll provide it. I won't let you suffer. Okay? I love you. You smile for me. Smile.
Don't hide my wife. <laughs> Mr. Omoka. Yes. Congratulations. You just have a bouncing baby boy. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Can I see her? No, not now. Not now. I'm so happy. Hello, manager. You won't believe what just happened. My wife just gave birth to a bouncing baby. Yes? What is it? Why are you doing this to yourself? Please. Enough of the stress, please. It's high time you stopped thinking too much. It will do you no good. If not eating since morning. Do you want to starve yourself to death? Please. Darling, you don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Do you realize what it means for a man to lose everything he has labored for in a twinkling of an eye? First, I was duped in the first business I did with that Japanese company. And now my warehouse got burnt. The worst of it all is that the money I invested on those goods are not mine alone. Borrowed money from close associates. I took an outrageous loan from the bank. And as we are speaking right now, I can't even boast of a hundred thousand in my bank account. Why? Because all my money got burnt along with those goods. It's okay. I understand. Please stop. I hate to see you like this. Please. Now our rent is due. What do we do? Get thrown out. Since it's obvious that we can no longer meet up with our rent and source of livelihood here in the city, we have to relocate. To where? To the village. To the village? Baby, it seems our only choice. Please, my love, try and understand. Darling, welcome. <laughs> Hi. Uh -huh. How are you people? We are fine, just that um, Junior has been purging. Again? Yes. Hi. <laughs> no. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have to take him to the chemist tomorrow. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Mom is here. Mom is here. Mom is here. So how is work? How is the keke business? Stressful as usual. 
Honestly, I'm tired of this keke business. I'm so tired of it. Eh? If it's not one problem today, it's another tomorrow. And to even make the matter worse, Ogier Maker does not want to know how much you spend in fixing the keke. All he cares about is his daily returns. I am tired. I think I have to look for another keke on her purchase. I think so too. Because you cannot be suffering and another person is enjoying your sweat ungratefully. But why not be grateful? Don't mind him. So why didn't you go to your shop today? It's because of Junior's illness. I cannot be taking care of him and be frying a car at the same time. It's okay. Let's go inside so I can fix your food. Okay. Madam, I beg, no vest. I don't know when I pour you dirty water, I beg. Sorry for yourself, you frustrated illiterate, wretched fool. You can't even pronounce the word dead. It's yours. Do I blame him for luring me into this miserable life in the name of marriage? No, God, for allowing the predicament that befall us, which has shattered our hopes and dreams. Is this the kind of life I am going to end up in? Is this how? I'm going to weave goodbye to my academics aspirations and end up a miserable, wretched illiterate like that woman rightly addressed me today. No, never. It's time to stand up for my right. Time to pursue my dream. I must get educated and earn myself a certificate that could fetch me a good job to better my life and that of my family. I cannot continue like this. No, I can't. I must save for my future, even if it means starving. That was how I ended up in this village. Hell. But after that ugly incident with that woman, <laughs> something in me woke up. Yes. I became courageous mm. with a great zeal to achieve my dreams. Yes. Ah. Please, Master Jesus. Ah. I started saving. I started saving every penny that I make from my Akara business. I started saving for the future. And as God may have it, God so kind, my Akara business has been very lucrative. Hmm. What do you intend to do with your savings? In Ajukwaju. To go to school, of course. Hey! I want to go to school. I want to fulfill my lifelong dreams. I want to go to school. I want to enter into the university and study. Hey! That has been my dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Yes? I want to.
fulfill my lifelong dreams of going to the university to study. Ah. Hi. Thank you, Jesus. It is better late than never. I carry gas I carry. Hey, I want to enter into the university. I want to study. Ah. Mm, please help me. Help me. Please help me gain admission into the university. Like I said before, I've saved enough money to sort out all the bills. So please, please, my dear, that is the only thing you can do for me. Biko, help me. You're already there. You know your way around. Help your sister, Biko. Veronica, eh? you want to look for an admission? Certainly. Are you sure you have made up your mind? Oh, Jibakwama, are you sure? No, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. Please, thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Father, for what you cannot do does not exist. Sadly. <sighs> but wait, oh. how are you going to cope with your husband and your child? What did you just say now? My husband and my child, okay? Yes. Hmm. Leave them to me. I know how to handle them. Mm. Oh? Ah. Please, thank you, Jesus. Talk to me, please. Uh, hello, excuse me. I said I don't want to talk to you. Please, just give me a little bit of your time. My dear. <laughs> Can we get this food now? Babes, what the hell is that thing with Tony? I don't know. Look at the guy. So unkept. No packaging, nothing. You know what, babe? That guy. Eh? He deserves to be taught a bitter lesson as a warning to his kind who may want to buck any of us with their wretched selves. Isn't they mad? Eh? Yes. You don't know say she'll get size. I didn't want you for my mouth. Look at him. 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 Look at what the hell are you discussing with my girl? Yeah. How dare you bump into two mature persons like that? Maybe what are you doing with this fool? Really? Yeah. Who then matured? You. A fool that like you. Arthur Roger. As broke as you are. Can I see your wallet? Is it Gucci or Louis Vuitton? Hmm. Which one? None. You've not eaten. You've never taken your bed properly as a pig that you are. You are How here to stop it. How dare you refer to me as a pig? Are you mad? <laughs> what? Oh, what boldness? Hey, 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 hear that? Hey. You said, 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 you 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 Hmm, everything has been fixed. You have been offered admission to study economics in the State University. Wait. Huh? Yes, you heard me. Wait. Open it, open. Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Look at it. Let me see your name. Ha! See your name, oh, for what God cannot do does not exist. It does not exist. <laughs> yes, it's true. Ah. Hmm. It's true. It's true, my dear. It's true. Ah. Hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All oh, thanks to Jesus. All oh, thanks to your father. So my dream of going to the university has finally come true. Yes, my sister, finally. Ah, thank you. How do I thank you? How do I kneel down no, or lie no, down? No, How no. do you thank you? No, no, no. Please, please don't kneel down. Don't kneel down for me. Eh? I wish I would do more for you. Eh? But sadly, I have not secured any job yet. Just give God all the thanks. Don't worry, my sister. Mm? Mm. Don't worry. Mm? God will not only give you a good job, but also a good husband. Hey! You're a good person. Amen! For what you have done for me, ah! God will surprise you. Amen! Hey! Hey! Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Amen, Master Jesus. Amen. Oh, amen. You don't know what you have done for me. 
<laughs> Have you told your husband about your plans yet? No. Uh, reason because I didn't want anybody to discourage me. So I was waiting for everything to be ready and perfect before I let the cat out of the bag. You took the right decision. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, I can't believe this. So I'm going to enter into the university. Yes. Undergraduate. Undergraduate. Just like that. Thank you, Master thank Jesus. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Honey, please wake up. Darwin, what is it? We need to talk. Can't it wait? No, it can't wait. Please. soon be going into the university. To do what? To study, of course. Darling, is this why you woke me up by this ungodly hour of the night? For God's sake, we've been through this over the years. Why raise the issue again? You know we can barely feed in this village. Talk more of university school fees. I've already got an admission and the bills has been paid. How? When? Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. My friend, Gloria, I don't know if you can remember, I introduced you to her. I remember her, I remember Gloria. And with the help of the money I saved from my business, I was able to sort out the bills. Wait, you mean you sorted out all the bills from the money you made from your business. You put all the money in education. Hi. Honey, please. Honey, it's not as if I'm not happy that you have gotten this admission. But tell me, how do you wish to cope with our son? Myself and other matrimonial affairs. You know education is time consuming my, and we cannot afford love, it. My love, please. I know. But, look on the brighter side. I'll just be there for a few years, not forever. And I'll be visiting from time to time, please. It's not as easy as it seems. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. It's not as if I'm not happy that you have finally got into the inception of your dreams. But the development is rather conflicting, considering the situation. How? Just tell me how... It, my, my, my baby, it, my love, please. The only thing, the best thing you can do for me in this life is to support me, is to give me a go-ahead order. You know that this has been my lifelong dream. Please, please, just, I just, just need your support, please. Um, <clears throat> my daughter. I have always known how passionate you are about academics. It is a good thing chasing your dreams. However, I'm afraid because I know the financial responsibilities involved. But since you said you sorted it out, I have nothing more to say than to give you my blessings. May Almighty see you through. Amen. Thank you, Papa. And again, my daughter, when you get to the university, be wise. Murukwanya Kazu. The stories I heard about university lifestyle is not encouraging at all. Cha 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 cha. In fact, if not for the fact that you cherished going to university so well, I would have advised against it. But since there's nothing I can do to make you happy or make you 
to be fulfilled. There's nothing again I can do. I hands off. But please, do not allow university negative lifestyle to influence you. Enugo, yes, instead of them to influence you, influence them. Enu. And again, remember the family you are leaving behind. Your son, your husband, and we, your parents, that are looking up to you. Please make us proud. Mama, Papa, mm -hmm. I will make you all proud. It's thank a promise. Ah, thank you to hear that, my daughter. I'm very happy. But if I may ask, how will your husband be coping when you are gone? Because I know the domestic responsibilities involved. I was about asking you, but since you said you have planned it out, no problem. May the Lord see you through. Amen. Ne. Always remember to pray. Always and always. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 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 Especially remember whom you are. Silas' wife. Don't forget our son here. Remember how much we will miss you. And try to visit often as you promised. They say the university environment influences people. But let it change you positively and not to affect your love for your family. And don't even let it affect the high moral standard you've maintained all these years. You know, if I had my way, I would have stopped you. But God knows the best. And I trust you. This is... This is just... 4,800 naira. It's the money I was supposed to give to Ogemeka for the return of his keke. But I have no option than to give it to you. Please manage it. I promise to send you more money as soon as I get. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Obia. You don't know how much I appreciate this. Thank you. To you, it's 4,800 naira. But to me, it's millions of naira because I know that this money is from your sweat and from your true heart. Thank you so much. My promise to you and our son is that I will make you proud. Yes. You know I'm very, very intelligent. Of course. So I will take my studies seriously. I will study hard and I will pass. I will come out in flying colors. Good. That's a promise. I'm doing this for my future and for the future of you and our son. Hmm? I believe you. And I know you will make us proud. I will. Look, I promise you, as soon as I get any little money, I will send it to you, OK? Thank you so much. And like I told you before, I will start a small business to be supporting myself in school. Good. Hmm? Take care of yourself. I will so miss you. I'll miss you more. My boy. Be a good boy, okay? I will visit you always. Okay? I love you. Junior, oh. okay. let's go and take Mama to the park, okay? okay. All right, let's... Welcome, Junior. 
they sell to, they buy on credit. Imagine someone buying credit on credit. Ah. This life no balance, so. I swear. Eh? And the, 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 the plenty bills where they pay for this school, eh? the thing they scatter my head. If not be uh, uh, a handout to, today, na be test book tomorrow, plus uh, school fees, plus other compulsory fees. This school, they don't get sense. They don't know say people wake up from poor background like us day for this school. They don't pity us. Nah, eh? That one no consign them all. Eh? But I pray God we see you through. Oh? Hey, get with him meters tell me the other time. Mm. You see, in cousin plus other uh, girls we day for this school. 